Hi, I'm Rochelle. And I'm Danielle. We are the mother-daughter owners of Godiva's Secret Wigs. In this video, we are showing you all the colors, rooted and non-rooted, that our Jenna wig comes in. So many of you have been waiting for this, so here it is. Great. So we're going to go through, we're going to mix together the rooted and non-rooted, but we will let you know which is which. Yes. And, uh get started. All right, and please yes. grab a pen yes. and paper. That's how our videos are so helpful to our clients right. we hear because you can make a note of the colors you love or the styles. And if you're not loving this style, know that many of our other wigs come in the colors we're showing you. Yes, good tip. So the darkest color Jenna comes in is Espresso, which I am wearing right now. It is considered a soft black. So it's not a harsh black, it's definitely a soft natural black. And then Rochelle is gonna be putting on the next slightly lighter color, which is called Cappuccino. So Cappuccino is gonna be a very warm, dark, dark brown color. And now we really look like mother and daughter. Huh? Oh my <laughs> gosh! Don't we? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna do a turn so you can really see these colors because they are very close. Just as a note, the color Rochelle started in is called Silver's Tone. So now I'm going to be putting on the next color. So we're getting, we're going from darkest, dark browns, to reds, to blondes, to gray. So I'm going to be putting on Chocolate Swirl, which is just going to be, it's still going to be a dark brown, but it's going to have these amazing highlights. So this, what we really, our goal is to have you be able to compare. Right. It's not so much what looks good for us on right. this video, no. and that's great. We <laughs> want to hear your opinions, always open to we hearing know. it. They're not all of our colors. Yeah. But we, yeah, we don't look good in everything. We know. And we're doing very quick styles because also it's not even about the styling. This is literally about colors. About showing you the colors right. and the color comparisons. Yes. So this color I'm wearing is called Chocolate Swirl. So it's a dark brown, but you'll see it has, see these lights? Beautiful, lights. little blonde highlights. Mainly around the front, as you're gonna see. Very subtle though, just beautiful. So we'll compare it to Cappuccino. And then Rochelle's gonna put on the next color down, which is called Ginger Brown. So it's kind of similar to Chocolate Swirl, a um, little lighter, and it doesn't have those blonde highlights in the front. A little warmer yes, ginger warm. brown. So if you are a brown to a little deeper brown, your hair's starting to go gray, you want something to color it, try ginger brown, beautiful, warm. Yes. So I'm going to go down a little lighter over here, excuse me, <laughs> uh, to Almond Roca. So you're going to see Almond Roca has a, a brown base with these golden highlights. Mm. A little warm red, a little blonde Almond Roca in even a short, short wig, a longer wig. You see these very subtle strands and it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh, I don't usually see myself in this color. <laughs> so here's the difference and quite a difference. Yes, this is going to be the Almond Roca. Sorry, right, just plain. <laughs> so the next color Rochelle is going to be putting on and that is called Marble Brown. And Marble Brown, you'll see, is kind of similar mm. to the Almond Roca, um, but it's going to have more of just a very fine blend of the different colors, where Almond Roca is a little more of a highlighting. Marble Brown, if you have virgin brown hair and you're wondering what kind of color, yeah. Marble Brown, so natural. it is a classic, gorgeous color with a little warmth, which yeah. is really flattering on the yes. skin tone. Right. Yeah, it's such a natural color. That and ginger brown are just very natural looking colors. 
Not that the others aren't. But these like, more look like your your own natural you want, hair. Like, you virgin know? looking yeah. colored hair. Right. Then with, that's why we're suggesting ginger brown and marble brown. Right. So now I'm going to show you honey wheat, which is another very pretty color, just a little lighter. This is going to be the lightest brown that um, Jenna comes in. I wish you could see these all in person, but this is, close this is the best that. we can do next to jumping through the monitor. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would if we could. We would. So this is honey wheat. So would you say it's a little mm -hmm. cooler, like where, you, where marble is a little warmer? Would yes, you? a little softer. And these subtle blonde around the face. Yes. Just gorgeous. Oh, Thank you. So gorgeous. this is the honey wheat R rooted. Um, and if we forgot to say what's rooted and what's not, down below where it says the names, if it says dash R on the color name, that means it's a rooted color. And rooted means? Rooted means it has this darker color here at the base. So see how there's no darker, it's just the color. Here, you see this little bit of dark right here? And that's through the that's entire the wig. Yes. So it looks very, very natural throughout. Yes. Okay. And so these are very close, yeah. but the little lighter around the face, very, very beautiful too. Thank you. You're welcome. So now we are getting into the red colors. So Rochelle's going to put on Auburn Sugar R, which is the deepest red, and I'm going to put on Raspberry Ice, mm. which is a little bit lighter. Oh boy, I love our beautiful, vibrant reds. It's like they're not flashy reds. They are rich looking reds. Very, very natural. Oh. So again, Rochelle has on the Auburn Sugar R and I have on Raspberry Ice R. So they're definitely similar colors you'll see, but the Raspberry Ice is gonna be a little bit brighter red, I'd say, um, where the Auburn Sugar almost has more of a brownish red base with the still with the highlights. Mm -hmm. Next, Rochelle is going to be putting on the Irish Spice R mm, again. One of my favorites. A little lighter, brighter red. Beautiful red color. And if you want to give Jenna bangs like any of our wigs, you can. Mm -hmm. And if you want to cut her a little bit shorter, you can. But oh, I mean, come Hi. on. If you're a redhead, I know what it, pain it is to have to color and worry about your color all the time. Mm -hmm. So you deserve to have a few red shaded Godiva Secret wigs. And top pieces. And top pieces, right. Yes. We do some of their top pieces in the Auburn Sugar R, the Irish Spice. I know we do some different ones for sure. Sure. Now I'm going to put on our next lighter, which is going to be Copper Glaze R. A little more coppery red. <laughs> I love Couldn't that guess. color. I want to rip that right off your head right now, and I want to put it on. I love Copper Glaze. But I love, I love all of our colors. So here's the Copper Glaze. So mm. again, you'll see it's a, a definitely lighter red, more of a strawberry copper brush red. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Mm-hmm. And now Rochelle is going to put on the lightest red, which is called Maple Sugar R. Um, it's kind of a color that could be more of like a soft brown. It could almost be a dark blonde. It could be a light red. It's kind of a, a color that fits in a lot of categories, but it is in our red category for now. So that's the Maple Sugar R, just a very soft, beautiful reddish blonde color. Yes. Reddish blondish brown color. It is. And can I part it another way? Sure. Yes. Just try. Try and see and back home and play. Yeah. 
So now we are moving into the blonde colors. So I am going to put on Chocolate Frost R and Rochelle is going to put on Iced Mocha R. So these are definitely similar colors so you'll really be able to see the difference. And they both have that light brown shade to them too. So like Danielle's saying, they're many colors. They're very, very mm -hmm. versatile. Right. Like this could be considered a brown with a lot of highlights or a dark blonde. So, you know, some things fit in multiple colors. So what I think is the biggest difference, Ice Mocha has kind of the blonde blend all throughout, where Chocolate Frost, this bottom part is mainly brown where the highlighting's more on just the top part. Gosh, look how beautiful. Look at these yeah, colors. Look at these colors. Gorgeous. See how it's kind of more up here and down here is going to be just more of the brown. Mm -hmm. And a little more blonde around mm -hmm. the face. Yeah. So Ice Mocha Chocolate. And then I'm gonna put on the next color, which is called a butter pecan. <clears throat> so we're gonna get lighter and lighter in the blondes here. So butter <coughs> pecan is gonna be a beautiful, really warm, buttery color. And then it has this little bit of like a medium brown running all throughout it. <coughs> Excuse her. I'm back. Sorry, the rest of the video is going to be just me. Rochelle had been losing her voice and she was trying to make this video with me, but the voice is gone, so now you have just me. So again, this is Jenna in the Butter Pecan R color. So it has this beautiful medium brown all throughout this buttery yellow color, uh, golden color. So let me show you the back. So the next color I'm going to put on is going to be called, let me tell you, Mochaccino R. Um, and I will hold the other color next to it so that you can still see the comparisons. So this is going to be Mochaccino R. This is a beautiful, cool, blonde color. I love this color. So it still has this great light color around the face. And then the rest is almost like, almost a light, cool brown. So again, like I said, some colors can fall into different categories. This could be a super light brown as well, but we do call it a blonde. So you'll see, like I said, these gorgeous goldens. And so I'm gonna hold Butter Pecan next to it so you can see still the comparison. So here, see it's easier this way. Here, Butter Pecan, and here I am with Mocha Chino. Okay. The next one I'm going to do is Nutmeg F, one of our most popular colors. So this is really a beautiful like strawberry blonde color. Like I said, very, very popular color. Nutmeg F. And you'll notice in this color, she's got these beautiful, very light blonde highlights here around the face. You see right here, isn't that pretty? So gorgeous. And then that strawberry blonde kind of all throughout. So I'm going to compare it to the Mocha Chino, which I just had on. There you go. I'm just going to pretend that Rochelle's right here next to me. So the next color I'm going to put on is called Sugarcane R. So Sugarcane is a beautiful blonde. Like I said, we're getting a little bit lighter now. You'll see here. She almost has like a hint of red to her. Um, she's definitely a blonde, but you'll see this undertone of red kind of. You'll see what I mean in a second here. So see here, it's almost like that little reddish blonde, right, throughout it. So this is that sugar cane R color. And I'm gonna compare it to the Nutmeg F that I was just wearing. So here's that Nutmeg and here's sugar cane. So you see, they're kind of similar where they have that reddish blonde, but sugar cane's definitely lighter. Okay, and the next color, just, excuse me a moment, I have to just redo my hair, it's uh, coming out here. 
Um, and like Rochelle said, be sure you're taking notes on the colors you like. Even if you may like other styles, these colors all come in so many of our different wig and hair piece styles. So the next color I'm gonna do is Creamy Toffee R. So it's definitely very similar to the Sugar Cane R, but the, the Creamy Toffee R is gonna be more golden, where that Sugar Cane has that little bit of reddish blonde in it. You'll really see it when I put them next to each other. So this is Creamy Toffee R, one of our most popular blonde colors as well. And then I really want you to see here, here is the Sugar Cane R. So you can see the difference. Come on, girl. Rochelle is much more talkative than my hand over here. So the next color I'm gonna do is Champagne R. This is gonna be the lightest blonde color that uh, Jenna comes in. She's just a gorgeous blonde. And she's rooted. So what I love about rooted wigs is for me, you know, my hair is very dark and I have dark eyebrows and my little sides that peek out are dark. So if I want to wear a blonde wig, I'm going to choose a rooted blonde wig because that way it makes sense with my eyebrows. And also like if this peeks out, that makes sense too. So ladies, even if your hair is very dark brown, if you want to go blonde, try a rooted blonde color. Like this would still make sense on me, right? Definitely I need like a little more makeup and stuff, but it makes sense. So I'm gonna compare it now to the Creamy Toffee R that I had on. And then our final color is the gray that this wig comes in and it is Silverstone. Silverstone is our most popular gray color and it's the color actually that Rochelle was wearing in the beginning of the video. It's a beautiful, real gray and it has this lighter gray around the face and then just this gorgeous gray now i can see what i look like when my hair goes gray so again this is the silver stone color so i'll do a turn just so you can see the color all around So these are all the colors that our Jenna wig comes in. I hope this has helped you. Like we said, a lot of people have been asking for this video, so we wanted to make it for you. And we want to thank each of you for trusting us with your hair, for following us on social media, for sharing us with other people. We love the connection that we have with you, and we're just so excited to continue that relationship. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.